is May Berenbaum. Yeah. Yeah. May is an entomologist who has made a career of studying interactions between insects and the plants they feed upon. In 2014, President Barack Obama presented May with the National Medal of Science. And that was... May has received for her strong contributions to science. But while it's clear from her resume that May is an exceptional researcher, I'd like to call attention to the fact that May has taken a huge initiative to bring her excitement and enthusiasm for science to all of us. <laughs> May has authored multiple books about insects for the general public. She has shown our community the weird and the wonderful of the insect world by organizing the annual Insect Fear Film Festival. Yeah. Yeah. And May has also been a devoted educator and mentor for almost 30 years. It is my absolute pleasure to present to you all May Berenbaum. and welcome everyone to the Champaign-Urbana's March for Science. Yeah. So we're here to celebrate science in a community that has provided a welcoming home for science uh, in service to the state, the nation, and the world for 150 years. So, yeah. Thank you to you. I'm a scientist and entomologist at the University of Illinois, but I'm far from the first entomologist. In fact, a year after the Illinois Industrial University opened, I, which was the name before it was University of Illinois, one of the first faculty they hired was Thomas J. Burrell to teach entomology in 1868. Yes, Thomas J. Burrell is the guy the building is named for. In case you didn't know, uh, Thomas J. Burrell's main contribution, among other things, was demonstrating that bacteria can cause disease in plants which was an entirely new idea at the time, and it was actually fairly controversial, and you know what, he was right. So, um, that, why are we marching in CU to celebrate science? Well, one reason is we don't have enough buildings in town to name after scientists who have contributed the way Thomas J. Burrell has. Uh, why celebrate? Well, uh, you've probably heard all kinds of lofty explanations of the spirit of discovery and, and uh, innovation and life-saving technology, but maybe it's best to celebrate science by putting it in simple terms and explaining what science is not. So, uh, what makes it different from so many other ways of thinking. So, because it's 2017, I thought I could do this with clickbait. All right? Nine reasons why science would be an awful boyfriend. <laughs> Right, I love science as a profession, as a way of learning about and understanding the world, but I would not want science as a boyfriend. Here's why. Number one, science could not care less what your opinion is about just about anything, or what political party you belong to, or what religion you practice, or what racial ethnic identity you have, or what your socioeconomic status is, or, or what, your cl what clothes you wear. Basically, science doesn't really care who you are. What you do is all that counts. Number two, Science will never take your word about anything. Uh. Science is always checking up on what you say, and even worse, encouraging other people to check up on what you say. <laughs> science, abs number three, science absolutely cannot share a secret with only you. <laughs> Somebody else always has to know, and usually the more people who know, the better. Number four, science is never 100% convinced of anything. Maybe 95% certain? Maybe 99% certain, never 100% certain. Sci number five, science can be really boring. Doing the same thing over and over again, seemingly happiest when the outcome is exactly the same as it was the first time you did it. <laughs> number six, science is a know-it-all. Whatever the subject is, as long as it's about anything in the natural world, but science doesn't even pretend to be the least bit interested in anything supernatural. So we will not be trying to contact the spirit of Thomas J. Burrell as we stand here today. Number seven, science never takes a day off. 
There's no suspending the law of gravity for a day just for kicks. There's no stopping natural selection to see what might happen or reversing the first and second laws of thermodynamics just to mess with people. <laughs> so, number eight. Science doesn't tell you what you want to hear just to spare your feelings. Science tells you like it is, tells you what's real. And finally, science is constantly reminding you of all the things you don't know. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. so let, let me finish by saying that science doesn't have to be your boyfriend or girlfriend or your significant other or any other sort of of uh, that kind of relationship, but making science part of your family and part of your daily life can make things better for everyone everywhere in so many ways. Today's march is a wonderful way to show your support for science, everybody's best friend actually, keeps us safe and healthy and prosperous and unafraid here in Champaign-Urbana and in the rest of the world. So everybody, happy marching. Yeah.